Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm talking about Mars and Aries transit that we're going to have from May 25th to July 5th, 2022. And it's important for me this transit because I was watching the Mars retrograde cycle very closely that happened two years ago. Uh, this cycle started in June 20, on June 29th, 2020, and it ended in January 6, 2021. That was the last time that Mars transited in Aries. So now we're back, right? Mars is back at home. It's been two years of a long journey. It's learned a lot. And um, this energy is important. This energy is very, very important because as Mars is going to be in Aries, Venus has just finished her stay in Aries. So the, the lovers are done. Venus and Mars are done being in the same elemental properties uh, elemental signs for a while now. So Venus will move on into Taurus while Mars is going to be in Aries. So I'm really observing this and these are personal planets and personal signs. So I'm watching as the energy is moving. I'm watching a lot of different, uh, dynamics with people, um, kind of come out the woodworks, even me as an astrologer, what I'm dealing with, uh, what my client's dealing with, my family, friends, all of us are kind of going through the motion of this Mars and Aries on what do you do now? What now? Da, da, da. <laughs> with Mars and Aries. So I pulled out two cards and the first card I got was the two of cups in reverse. Second card I got was the seven of wands in reverse. And I feel like what's going to end up happening with this Mars and Aries transit is we're going to be reflecting, right? We're going to be thinking back to that time when Mars had first moved into Aries about two years ago about all the things that were going on because Mars stayed in Aries for almost six to seven months last time. And it started the new year like that. And we're going to have another Mars retrograde cycle happening this year. This time it's happening in Gemini, which is an air sign. So it's going to be basically bringing energy to that retrograde that was also happening in 2020 going into 2021. So Aries energy is all about taking initiative. It's all about living from your truth, living from your authentic self. And I'm seeing this is a big deal right now. Um, there may have been situations that happened uh, two years ago, again, that may pop up again now because Mars is making a lot of big uh, aspects to major players while it's going to be transiting the sign of Aries. It's conjuncting Jupiter. It's squaring uh, Ceres. It's sextiling Saturn. It's, uh, it's squaring Pluto again uh, for the second time now. And the last time it squared Pluto and Aries again was two years ago. But Saturn was also in Aries, at, at was in Capricorn when this happened. So the energy is different, right? With Mars meeting Jupiter first, it's like we get this kind of like a, a, a open chance, a, a moment to kind of see a, a situation um, from a bigger perspective, right? Because Jupiter is the, a bigger perspective, a, a higher understanding, bird's eye view of something, um, Mars is just uh, initiate, go, initiate, go. And Jupiter is more about bigger ideas, um, looking at things from an expansive point of view. And the first planet that Mars is going to be talking to when it moves into Aries will be Jupiter. So what is your bigger goals, your bigger, um, your, your bird's eye view um, focus right now? Because this is what Aries, the energy of Mars and Aries is going to be starting off this transit with. And as it moves into the end of um, the month of June, going into the beginning of July, again, it's squaring Pluto. OK, so that's really about, OK, it's do or die. Is it time or not? Are we doing this or are we not? So there's an energy really there about are we taking the initiative? Are we going to take the steps that we need for the bigger picture, for the things that we really want? Right. And and Jupiter and Aries is really an amazing uh, elemental property, I find, when the native has that in their chart, because this person has a really big understanding of how to get to things really quickly and how to also be self-oriented. This is a very big energy of Jupiter in Aries, along with Mars meeting Jupiter in Aries, self-orientation. A lot of fire signs may be feeling a little bit more of like a push coming into their system. Um, I definitely think that this transit also is going to set the pace because what I did notice, right, was last year when... Um, Mars was transiting in Libra. There was a lot there was a lot of like 
back and forth of the same energy that was happening when Mars was transiting in Aries in 2020. Mars transited in Libra last year. If you need to know the dates, it's from September 16th until mm, October 30th of 2021. You think back to those times. What was happening then? <laughs> you know, that was the opposite energy when um, Mars was transiting in Libra. And it was really kind of just hitting all that energy with the Mars retrograde from the year before. And I'm seeing the same kind of like dynamics, right? Every six months, we kind of get this dynamic with the energies when their uh, planetary alignments are in opposition, right? So what you're looking at right now with this Mars in Aries is how can you use your everyday small steps, uh, physical energy, and literally trying to do something small, little by little, day by day, if you can, for your big dream to come true or that uh, that thing that you've been thinking about, that goal that you have. Um, I, I see a lot of people with a lot of missions now. They have a lot of missions. I want to I wanna buy a house. I want to uh, change careers. I would like to go back to school. I want to become uh, something different than I am right now. I want to get married. I want to have children. My children are graduating. There are all these different things um, that can be put into what is the big picture and how do you use your physical energy to then get to those big goals, right? This is the whole focus that Mars is trying to put into perspective for us right now. So I'm going to focus on the cards for two seconds. Um, I'm seeing the seven of wands in reverse as I can do this all by myself. In a retrograde, in a, excuse me, in a reverse motion, letting me know that maybe there have been situations where you were doing something all by yourself and you're seeing that you need help. And there may be the adverse where you feel like you've been doing so much by yourself and maybe you're in a relationship because the two of cups is accompanying, accompanying this card. Or you may feel like the relationships that you've been in, you still feel like you're able to do things on your own and you don't feel as connected. Or maybe you're fighting relationships or the relationships in your life are not really working out too well and you're trying to figure out how to change dynamics of those things, right? Another thing I'm seeing with this is business. So if anybody's interested in trying to go into business, you're trying to focus on how can I rearrange or reestablish uh, myself? Um, if you've had a situation where your business has um, um, not been doing too well or your work hasn't been going too well, this is a really good opportunity to kind of focus on those things while Mars is in Aries. It's self-orientated. And when Mars moves into Taurus, you'll be focusing more on the financial aspect. You'll be focusing more on your body, on your money. But right now it's your will. Okay, right now we're going to focus on your will with Mars and Aries. And the will is basically trying to ask for something bigger than itself. It needs something bigger than just itself to do something. It needs a goal. You need a vision. Okay, if you have a business, if you're trying to change jobs, all those kind of things, that's going to be a really big deal with Mars and Aries. And I'm a big, big lover of Mars and Aries because this, this energy to me is so dynamic and raw. So again, a lot of raw things may be coming out, right? A lot of raw, raw things may be uh, coming out into the surface. I'm, I'm recording this as Mercury is stationing at 27 degrees of Scorpio, which is degree, which is the degree of truth, the truth seeker, the, the the person that investigates, the person that wants to know what's going on. And they get down to the bottom of it. But because Mercury is retrograde now, again, everything is in reflection mode uh, with this Mars, uh, with this Mars in Aries. So again, Focus on what are your goals. Try to figure out your passions. Try to figure out what are your dreams and how you can live from, from those dreams because Jupiter will go back into Pisces, okay? Um, so we do want to focus on those dreams, right? Making those dreams a reality. And if your dreams are nightmares, then you probably need to change what you're focusing on. You probably need to change your subconscious. There's a lot of things that need to be um, looked at right now with Mars and Aries because Mars and Aries don't fuck around. It's not an energy that is going to think about your feelings or how you, it is going to go directly for the juggler and you are going to feel it. You're going to experience it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be raw. Um, and it's not going to have any type of apologies to it because it's, it's not an energy that needs to apologize for it being what it is. It's too raw for that. So you may find that energy may be something that's also um, um, happening right now that's potent. 
again too i'm gonna link the uh the meaning of both tarot cards so you guys can get a better interpretation of them if you guys like this um this breakdown of Mars and Aries, and you'd like to understand how that can affect you and your birth chart, you can email me at akilaastrology at gmail.com. We can definitely do a reading. Um, I also uh, would like to thank all of my subscribers again. Thank you guys for following me for all these years. It's been like seven years. I've been seven or eight years I've been on YouTube. And I swear without, again, you guys um, believing astrology and, and really giving me more courage to talk about astrology to not be in my little shell as a Scorpio and talk about things like this I really was able to develop uh something that I really loved and I just thank you guys so much and I I just I'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart that you guys have given me an outlet for this thing that I love so much which is astrology so I hope you guys enjoy the transit and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much and bye